we interrupt your regularly scheduled memeing for another MLD series. This is the MLD Network on Showdown Sunday. I'm Curtis. That is an intimate Jay. As we jump into the Champions League, I was wrong. For some reason, I thought it was Sharks and Blizzard this series. I was dead wrong. It is, in fact, the other conference and the other league. This is Pandas and Demolition. It's getting set to do battle. Both teams sitting at a 16 and 19 record, Jay, as they're both staring up at the Rhinos and Knights ahead of them in the wildcard. Yeah, and critically, the the Rhinos getting some wins, but the um, the the Knights dropping a bunch of games this week already. So a, a great opportunity to overtake a conference rival for that wild card spot, and the demo will want to respond as well. The Dodgers having picked up five wins last night uh, against the Pirates, who are one of the top teams in the league. So now's the time to get the. To, to get those wins under the belt, it'll be Mage and Stovads taking the field here in Aquadome up against a Pandas roster that features a familiar face in uh, coming out of uh, out of the wilderness of wilderness of free agency. It is Hunter, uh, MLD Hall of Famer, season three finalist, making his uh, first appearance on field since season four. Yeah, somehow we found within the MLD version of Where's Where's Waldo, we found Hunter to Ginger. Uh, wandering around so he'll put on a pandas uniform and jump in to the game pandas and demolition about to do battle as we get things set up they're going to get the signals we're going to get them on the field uh by the way guys if you see something that you like and want to nominate it for the mld play of the week definitely grab it clip it send it to the ml doubles twitter account at mldoubles with the hashtag mld potw winner will receive a free case of balls garana to their door courtesy of our friends over at Balls. Don't forget to get your free shipping on your case by entering code MLD at B-A-W-L-S dot com. We are underway with game number one. This will be an immediate chance in front for the Pandas and will be up the sidewall as they try to keep it in. Mage is going to put this in the corner looking for a little bit of help out to the left wing side. Great touch. Back this way comes the Pandas. Chance in front and then a save, but it'll pay for it. As the as the demo will be in a little bit of trouble here in front of their own cage. Going back into it. Chance for the pandas. It's a 2v1. Good dunk out to the top. And it looks like the demo will be able to pinch this one out. Good touch once more. This will bounce off the back. Looking for a little bit of a timing and unable to find it. As Riz and Hunter look to get it out of their own end. Ooh, awkward oh. touch from Hunter. Oh my, this one, I understand what he's trying to do. He's got time here, but I don't think he realized how much time. Just puts that one on a plate for Mage. Riz can't do anything about it. Actually ends up getting the touch at the end to put that one in. Demo get the opening goal, but it was a bit of a gift put up there by Hunter. Yeah, you can't, uh, that's something they'll have to fix. Unforced errors are going to kill you, especially in the Champions League. This will be in front of the Panda's net. Up and along the back wall, Hunter and... Mage go up there. Hunter gets the better of it for the time being, but that is a Stovad's nice play. Mage still there. Tries to find it towards the net, and Riz has to make a save. Hunter going to give chase as well. Hunter lateral. Riz is there, looking for a little bit of a touch. It's going to bounce left wing side. Back the other way come the demo. Hunter makes something happen at the midfield. Bounce out of the corner. Chance in front. Hunter off the side wall, or off the side of the post. Rebound for Riz. Unable to put that one on frame as we played 90 seconds of game one. Demo looking to get something going here. Bounce off the ceiling in front. Back to the top of the box we go. Riz put himself in a bit of an awkward spot there. Kind of chased it underneath that loose ball that Hunter had challenged for on the side. Just kind of didn't recognize he, he didn't have a great play on that one. Probably should have just stayed back and waited for that bounce. The Pandas right now kind of stuck in their own end. Really need to try and get this one clear and get some pressure. Uh, around the corner it goes. Going to drop in front. Hunter with a good, good touch. This will bounce into the, the offensive corner. Pandas looking, looking. Good play. It'll get it up and around one. Mage is there. Looking for a play into the middle. Tries far side for his teammate, but it goes a little bit long and a little bit quick. And a nice pinch by the Pandas. will get it back out to the midfield. Missing. That is Mage. Up is Riz. Riz off the back. Hunter lurking, but he's going to find the receiving end of a demo. And Riz is going to have to keep this away from his goal line for the time being. That's an important demo there. It breaks off all that midfield pressure. Puts the Pandas in a tough spot here as they try to recover their rotations. Riz on that clear just right into Mage. They need to get this ball out of that orange end. 
defensive timing for the Pandas is on point at the moment. We'll see if that continues. This is up in front of the Pandas net. And Mage cannot put that one home as he flies just above it. Riz the other way. Riz looking for a pinch. It's going to bounce top of the box, waiting for a chance. Is going to be Hunter, but he's going to fly lateral to it. This is going to set up Mage with an opportunity. Trying to turn it 1v2. He's going to get it past one, but loses it in the process. And Hunter with the long clear will give chase in the opponent's end. Waiting for a nose play from Mage. Mage will get it, but he loses it just as soon as he did. Good clear by Stovads. We'll get this back out to the midfield with a minute 39 to go. one nothing game for the Demolition. Panda's looking for something. They've had the offensive attack for the last minute or so, but haven't been able to put anything together. And fortunately, they've, they've run themselves out of boost. You see Hunter back here defending with nothing in the tank, and that flip to try and get that one in the corner just not executed properly. Riz, they're also drifting in. The positioning right now for the Panda is just not quite where it needs to be. Gotta wonder how much practice these guys have gotten in as a as a pairing for the last couple of weeks. Sure. As, you know, again, Hunter, new addition to the team in recent weeks. Good one off the spoiler there. Pandas try to recover in their own end. Up on around one, but taking it away. Stovads bounces it in front. Chance for May. It's trying to find it in a good play. Great challenge at the top of the box. Going to take that one aside as the Pandas playing a really good defensive game at the moment, but they got to turn defense into offense fairly soon if they want to have a claim at this, and they will! Hunter with the dribble through two, and it's a 1-1 game. This is the type of play that we've been longing to see out of Hunter after he comes out of the Hall of Fame, back onto the field, goes round one, then gets to the outside of that ball, a great little chip, get past the last defender in the net, ties the game up here late for the Pandas. Someone's got a hero on the pitch for game number one. Who's it going to be? Hunter and Mage get together on the side wall. That ball is going to careen back across, side to side into the corner. Getting it around one. Looking for a little bit of help is Stovads, but Mage unable to get there. That's going to bounce in front of the demo net, but Mage has plenty of time. Stovats on the receiving end. Ends up putting it off the nose back from whence it came, unfortunately, for the demo. And they'll, one of them have to travel up the wall. 20 seconds left. Great touch around and up above both of them as Stovads gets the goal with 18 seconds to go, possibly to cinch game one for the demo. Positional error for the Pandas here. You see Hunter drifting up towards that one. Riz in front of him had no boost. Should have really communicated that he wasn't going to win that challenge very effectively and Hunter could have stayed back defending the net. Instead, 150 beats two players equals goal. Then we'll have a lead again. 17 seconds left. Pandas need to retaliate fairly quickly. Putting it into the demo territory is Hunter. Hunter has control, not a lot of momentum, and Riz gets right in his way. That's going to create big problems. Hunter is going to have to give chase in his own end, and it's not going to do it. Off the corner to the ground eventually. It's going to bounce in front of the Pandas net in the demo. Take game one, final count 2-1. At the Pandas, you could just see that little bit of discomfort with one another on the field there leading to a couple of mistakes that end up in the back of their net and you gotta hope that that's going to work its way out of their game right now is you know the demo having you know been together all season this, this roster has played together they know what to expect out of one another and you're not going to see as many of those mistakes from that other team so the individual effort from hunter makes it the only goal that we see from the pandas in game one hopefully we see hunter and hunter and riz on the same page for game number two we'll see if we get that as we get into game two, this becomes ever increasingly important as the Pandas have overtaken the demo for the fifth position in the wildcard race. And this is going to be a chance in front for the demo to get the first strike again, but they will miss on an opportunity. Back the other way comes Riz. Two to one. That was the result of the first game. Let's see what game two has in store for us. That'll bounce in front of the demo net. Very close, and eventually they will get it away as Mage does the dirty work. 4.32 left as we're 30 seconds into game two. This will be a chance for some contact. Hunter, the ginger, the ginger is up, and he will miss on that opportunity. And that's a good, long dribble, 10-5 touchdown for Mage, and it's a one nothing lead for the Demolition. You're going to be in that close with that kind of shot. You have to put that in a spot that the opposition can't clear. Hunter does not do so, puts it right into the front of that octane for mage goes straight downfield and the pandas again are going to have to play from behind 40 seconds in chance for the demo to get another one mage with a shot on net still up for stovad stovad finds it nearly puts it in the upper 90 
Back the other way. 2v1. Chance for Hunter. Hunter with the flick. Puts it up in the air and reading it perfectly is made as he gets above the crossbar to take it away. Back the other way come the demolition. Needing contact and getting good contact is Hunter. That one will bounce right off of Mage. Bounced off the corner again. Demo in a tough spot. Panda's trying to answer and they can't do it. With 3.49 left, we played a minute 11. It's been super fast paced from the onset of game two. Yeah, the champ league, you notice that in a lot of games, the speed, the pace of play able to come so much faster into, you know, into view is, that's a great oh. one too, as Hunter brings it out of the corner, straight down to Riz, they tie the game. You talk about splitting a seam, Hunter with a really good pass into the middle, finds Riz, and he finds the seam just between the two demolition players, Stovads and Mage coming together on the end of that lady in the Tramp Spaghetti Dinner, and it is a 1-1 game as we play with 334 left. I, yeah, I, I definitely just said that. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Stovads. <laughs> Trying to get the play out of his own end. Off the sidewall. Chance for Mage to move it out. Tries to dribble. Has it. The flick. Crossbar. Down. Chance for a clear. And Riz takes care of it. Off the nose comes Riz out to Hunter. That's going to be a problem for Riz. He does not have a ton of boost, and he's able to still get there just in time to take that one away. We remain tied at one. 2.53 left. Riz critically got that boost in the corner, but unfortunately with Stovads in full retreat, not able to get that one out in front there, but Stovads will tee it up. Riz will get two now. The Panda's in the lead. Good work. Bounces off the corner does Hunter and both of the demo players in the same corner traveling towards the net around the wall. That's an easy one for Riz. Academic at that point as we approach halftime. Absolutely. Should hit that all day. Can't miss those. He doesn't. And that's important for the Pandas right now. They need these wins. They started out very far back in the Orange Conference standings. Not into this week at, at least, but just in the season in general. And they had a couple of personnel changes where they started to really kind of bring themselves back up towards the... You know the, the the red line of the playoff race so every win right now definitely important to them that is going to be a chance in front off the back riz you can put that out to the top hunter comes in to keep it in but the demo will work it back the other side good touch laterally from stovats stovats trying to get there riz will take it away hunter is lurking far side now with the midfield, may not need him as Riz able to win the 1v1. And it's a 3-1 game for the Pandas. Actually wins a two 1v1s in a row. Gets that clear upfield. Puts Mage in such a tough spot to try and make that read. By the time it hits the backboard, it's really too late because Riz has so much a so much more improved line coming at that ball off the backboard than you do coming off the goal line trying to play that. And it's a big hat trick. Whoa. That was also close. Riz has to come across the face of Golden make a nice save. He'll take the ball. Works it into the offensive end. Touch into the corner with two minutes left. Great accuracy from Hunter. Tries on far side. Panda's on a shooting gallery at the moment. F had a few unanswered shots in a row, but the demo looking for a counter play as Hunter makes a save. Great touch off the spoiler from Hunter as he backs into it. That's a shot towards the net, and Hunter takes it to care of it on that side as well. Two goal deficit, and that's a far side opportunity that gets steered aside once more. And that's a shot. Another save, and it will stay towards the back wall as Riz gets up and makes a really good defensive effort. That's a savior for him and to go with that hat trick. And, you know, just looking back through the chat, somebody reminding me that Riz actually was a player for the Platte League Spartans oh. earlier this season. Mage, though, keeps that one under control. Cut that lead down Mage to one. With, with the wizardry here in the air, the boost feathering a little bit there, has one off the nose and places it perfectly. The placement is key there because Hunter on the other side has a shot to save it if it's anywhere else. Instead, he's not able to get there, and it's a 3-2 game for the Pandas. Yeah, that's great placement, great control as well, just tapping that boost button, keeping that feathered all the way up. Just enough momentum to get to that ball. Chance for the demo. They'll get this deep into the Pandas territory once more. 60 seconds left on the clock. That'll bounce off the back. Chance for Hunter. He will clear it aside. Get it back into the demo end. That's up in the air. Hunter jumps off the sidewall in his own end. He's going to lose control because of the boost on it. And it'll be Riz back the other side. Riz tries to find it. Gets it up in around one. And it's going to be Mage with the clear. 37 on the clock in a 3-2 game. Demo with a shot. 
And that is a nice save as Stovads had one labeled for the back of the net. Yeah, big challenge there by Riz. Knew he kind of had to get to that ball. Hunter was still trying to res uh, to reset himself on the rotation here. The Panda is clinging to this lead right now and getting that ball upfield. How about oh. one for the dagger? Riz has four as he goes inside on Mage. Inside out. He goes inside, then out, then back in, and Mage is turned upside down with that. Mage thinks he's going short side, but Riz with the air control to put that one far side and away from Mage. Mage had no shot, and it's a dagger for the Pandas. They look to take game two. Very importantly, Riz used a bit of boost to go back down towards the ground, reset himself on that inside line rather than go for that full aerial shot where he wouldn't have gotten a lot of power on that ball. Oh, and that's going to be a play that does not have much on it. And this will hit the ground. The Pandas are going to tie up this, this series at one apiece. And that is a really good effort coming back from a game one loss. Yeah, it's an important effort from the Pandas there. They need these wins right now. They need the momentum coming into the back half of the season. And the Demolition, I don't really feel like they did a lot wrong. They had 12 shots on goal. They were out shooting the Pandas all over the place. But a lot of heroics on that goal line. Four saves out of Riz. Two more out of Hunter. That one was really just a back and forth the whole way through. Yeah, a lot of fun to watch. No doubt about that. 11 shots for the Pandas. They put up a shooting gallery with a uh, with not much to spare on the other side as the demo are going to look to readjust here they got to do something mage had a couple of highlight real efforts in that particular contest he also had four saves to go with that so we'll see what they have in store for us in game three as these two teams tries to try to get an advantage five seconds in it's going to be hunter back the other way hunter will give chase into the corner loses that opportunity it's going to be up and off the ceiling chance shot it's off the post Ren and the rebound stays away that's very close hunter will move it back the other side he may have a carry here looking for a little bit of help but riz mis re misreads it and cannot finish the job as it looked like hunter was carrying the ball to him yeah critically though you could see riz just drifting underneath the flight that hunter was taking at what didn't quite read the air dribble down to the pass I think hunter probably should have either communicated it better or just been a little bit selfish trying to take that one for himself in the Panda's end, Mage gets one off the wheels, puts it down on the ground. Just to follow up the sidewall, misses on that opportunity. The pinch play is going to be Stovads. Stovads loses that to Hunter. Back the other way is Mage. Mage shoots at the empty net. Can't miss those, and he does not. It's a demo lead, one nothing. Yeah, Hunter a little bit guilty with this one here. Just didn't get the contact he wanted. Shanked that one right off the side of the Octane, straight into Main Street. Mage is like, I'll take this one downfield. No problem. Pandas with the lead, or with the deficit again, is the demo score first. I believe that's the third game in a row now. 4 2 left and a 1 0 advantage. Bounced off of the, or towards the halfway line. Up is Riz. Riz is there. It's going to be off the back. Chance in front. Your side, it's in for Mage with a 2 0 lead in front now are the demo as they try to retaliate. Yeah, unfortunately, the Pandas just never get this ball away from their net. Kind of rotates through that corner. Riz tries to cut that one off. Almost managed to get that away. It had an orange trail before it hit that bar and ends up sliding in. Demo with that two-goal lead. That might be important here unless the Pandas can really kind of find that, you know, that, that dig deep early on. 2 nothing advantage. Good bounce is to be up towards the lateral wall. Trying to read that one is Mage, trying to go far side, but he'll be bumped towards the ball that he just hit. That's an opportunity for the demo, though. Lurking far side is going to be Stovad, but he's not going to get there first, as it will be Hunter. Still there. It is a threat. Chance in front, far side. It's off the post. Rebound is there as well. Great timing, and it's going to find the goal line and in goes the ball at Stovads, who finds it far side. Yeah, you can see Hunter coming across, expected that shot earlier, and Stovads just floats it past and made Hunter look silly, <laughs> dribbles into the changer. back corner of the net there, and just, man, that, that changeup really kind of turned him inside out. Absolutely. A lot of fun on that particular uh, change of speeds. Is that is uh, With baseball season coming up, that's rather appropriate. This will be a chance for Riz. It comes straight down, bounces in front, and then Mage takes care of it. Up off the side. Finds it on the barrel roll. Going to try to give this one more follow, but a good touch by Hunter. He's going to send Riz on the chase into the offensive end. Bounces it around the corner. Big demo. It's going to be a murder and score play for the Pandas 
and a three to one lead or er, three to nothing lead is now cut to three one. That is a huge goal, and the demo is all the work that was needed there. Riz doing a great job keeping his composure. Almost lost the handle on that one there. He rolled it up a little bit high, but able to get that one over the line. But Hunter really making that play happen with the demo. Our friend Jorby has another name for that, but we're going to leave that one alone for the time being. 245 left in a 3-1 contest. Going to be a play that gets pinched towards the demo end. Stovets is up. He will get that one knocked away. Back the other way comes Hunter. Hunter knocks his back into his own end. He's going to try to travel up the back wall and get a touch. He will towards the side. Bounce towards the corner. Back the other way comes Mage. That's a chance in front of the Panda's net, but a good long clear is going to set up Hunter with a chance. Mage gets contact, and Riz is going to get contact right back. A little bit of ping pong as we play just past halftime in game number three. Both teams looking for a one-game advantage over the others. We get into the latter part of the series. The, these teams really just kind of slugging out. That's a good win. Hunter just can't find the inside of the post. Had the time to line that shot up, but just pulls it wide. That was a big one, and they're going to be lamenting that miss. Yeah, there's nothing makes your heart sink faster than a, a play like that that goes by the post and away from the net. That's a chance for Mage to follow. It has the touch, and it is home. 4-1, to one, and it is a full house on the board. 1-1-4-1-4 one, one, four, one, four. <laughs> in the demo of a three-goal lead again. Yeah, but Hunter again just missing that shot that he could have snapped off at the other end. It's a two-goal swing the other way. That might just be enough to do it unless somebody on the pandas has got themselves a way to pull them right back into this game. That's a touch. Near side, they're going to add one more. Mage is popping off in this couple last couple of games. It's a 4-1 lead. Good win, by, good win by Stovads. You can see Mage just driving onto that one, closing the distance so quickly before Hunter could actually respond to that one. And the demo just running away here in game three. The Pandas just cannot find a grasp on this one. Goal number four for Mage in this last game. That is a heck of an effort from him inside game three. This will get sent into the green end. Chance for the demolition to get something going out of their own or away from their goal line anyway, but at the moment the they are owning this game. Panda's got to do something pretty extraordinary to get back into this contest. This will be a touch off the back. That's going to be a counter play the other way. Can they turn this? And eventually Hunter will get there first and send it deep. Minute four to go. Chance near side. Just tries to find the angle. Unable to do so. It'll be sent back down towards the sidewall and up, this, up the ramp. Bounces it off the back. Chance, it's going to be another opportunity for the demo to put one in. The dunk is going to go away from the net, and the Pandas survive for the moment, but still down four. They're looking like they're just trying to avoid stat padding at this point. Yeah, this game very firmly out of hand for them right now. You can see them just chasing ghosts at their own end. They don't have the boost to get this ball clear, and Mage going for the Tarzan swing gets the execution wrong. It's you see the demo, they're playing with that freedom, that, that confidence that they have at the moment. The Pandas just need to find themselves a little bit of that swagger, I think, that they had getting that win in game two. They just have to kind of find that magic to get themselves back into this series with the next game. Well, if we see the seesaw battle that we've seen so far, they are on pace to do much better in game number four. We'll see if that is indeed the case. But for the time being, game three belongs to the demolition in a 5-1 capacity, maybe six if they can keep it up. They cannot. And it is going to be a four goal difference in game three as they have a 2 1 lead in the series. And the Demolition just taking advantage of a lot of opportunities given to them. The Pandas with only four. Shots. Yeah, 13 shots against four for the Pandas on that one. They were just sieging up through the course of that uh, that third game. And yet you have to wonder with, with only five saves on the board, if you know a few more of those had been a little bit more accurate, whether or not the Demo could have really run that score up. Well, Aquadome, the site for the fourth game in this five-game set. Pandas and Demo in the Champions League getting it down to the nitty-gritty. And a 2-1 lead for the Demo as the Pandas look to try to come back. Pandas, Pandas with Hunter the Ginger coming out of the Hall of Fame and back on to the pitch. Making his season debut. This will be a play in front that Hunter's going to take care of towards the sidewall. Good touch and a nice demo is going to set up a 2v1 for the Pandas, but it'll be sent back down into their end by Stovads, who's there to take advantage. 20 seconds in. Riz will slow it down. 
That play is going to set up a possible 2v nothing on the other side. Hunter not able to find the angle and a good touch coming across. He's going to take that one away. Off the back towards the right wing. Needing a little bit of help is Hunter. He's going to put this towards the side. That's a problem. Big play for Mage towards the net. And Riz bails him out as it remains a scoreless ball game 45 seconds in. Oh, critically, Riz trying to defend that upper intersection with no boost. Hunter oh. not quite reading that one developing in time. Riz did all he could to get this ball away, challenging Stovads in that upper intersection. But you see Hunter rotating back through, just never reacts to that in time. He pulls the brakes in the corner, trying to figure out what's happening. And Mage is right on top of that one, makes him pay. It's one nothing again here early for the demo. 51 seconds in, already a one nothing lead for the demo. As Panda's looking to retaliate, they have to come back again to do it. Taking possession is Riz. Riz is up, has a double touch off in the nose. He's going to try to lead it for Hunter, but it does not quite get to the goal line. Still a chance for Hunter, but Stovad's there to make the save. It'll be sent back again into the Panda's corner. That's a big missed uh, possession in the Panda's end, but they will live to tell about it as Riz will take control. Big demo there as well. Mage on target with this. Riz with another save. He's got two already in this contest. This will be to the top of the box. Chance for Hunter. He's going to have to try to make a defensive play here. And this will be sent well wide of that right post. The, uh, the demo at this point step quicker on just about every piece of this game. Until there, the, the low ball is going to make the demo pay as Hunter hits it from his own goal line. Yeah, Hunter just waiting for this one here. Mage trying to get that interception 50-50, but the timing has to be dead on. Doesn't get it right. Hunter just puts that one straight down into center field, far side. And uh, the Pandas have their, their grasp on this one early enough. They just need to try and get their noses in front. 3.09 left in game number four as the Demolition trying to seal away a victory in this series. It is a 1-1 contest. The Pandas are going to work it in the offensive end. Great touch off the ceiling. Towards the right wing side in the Pandas end, but good contact by Hunter sends it back the other way. Touch off the spoiler. That is on target. It's going to find its way home. Hunter in the far side. Not sure where that was headed, but it's a 2-1 lead for the Pandas. And Mage, unfortunately, just loses that one awkwardly in the corner. And Stovads is in the net. He's trying to time that one. Coming off of that post inside, just cannot execute that one. But Mage needed to get a better touch. Kind of left his teammate in such an awkward spot to defend. That's a problem back the other way, though. And Mage is going to retaliate easily. He's got two this game, and it's a deuces wild game again. The Demolition have this face off on lockdown. They're always cheating up on that one, and that... Challenge for the boost in the corner from Hunter. When he goes out that way, they just don't respond well to that kill. And they really need to be a little bit more aware of how that play is developing for the demo. 2-2 two, two game with 2.33 left. This will be Riz. He's going to try to make something happen ridiculously, and it's going to be off the crossbar. And send it away. This will be 2.24 left. Just hit the halfway mark. Hunter puts it down, but Mage is going to meet it. Riz over the halfway line. That sets up a retaliatory shot from the other side, and Stovaz finds the net for midfield. It's a 3-2 lead again. And Riz, unfortunately, was given a gift there, but doesn't get the clear upfield. Stovaz just waiting for that one low, easy to play, right into the waiting cage. Two-goal swing now for the Demolition. They've got themselves back in front, and the Pandas trying to find a way back into it yet again. 3-2 lead. This is going to be another play for the Demo, but that one flies off the post. As you are right, they have definitely mastered that particular kickoff against these pandas, but they unfortunately can't make it happen there. And really, the pandas just, the way that they're setting up, they haven't adjusted to that kickoff yet. It's the third or fourth time they've been burned by it this series. They really should have adapted to it by now, either by changing how they're taking that kickoff or by positioning themselves a little bit more effectively, knowing what the, the demo are trying to do be towards the sidewall, wall to wall, side to side. Panda's looking for an attack. Riz times it well. Pass across. Hint, uh, Hunter the Ginger tried to get it on the receiving end. Can't find it. And it's going to be Mage on the other side. Tries to fall on top of this. That dunk is going to send it back into the Panda's end. And it will be uh, Stovads who gives a little bit of chase. Sent off the back. 
Looking for an angle. That pinch is going to send it again back into the panda's end. Up is Mage. Tries to find the angle. Finds it, but it's a nice save. Coming out, they'll call it a clear. As Riz going to set it up for his teammate Hunter, who puts it far side and away, as he doesn't quite hit the net from there. Knew he had to put it to that side anyway. You could see Mage setting up for that clear. If he tries to keep it near side, probably wouldn't have been able to get that one in regardless. Just not able to keep possession is the important thing. After that attempt, they give up that ball, and they're still trying to fight through this midfield here and look for that offensive chance that might get them back into this one. Back towards the sidewall. This is an opportunity. Riz and looks like Hunter going to get their paws on it. It's going to be in front. Riz tries to circle in, but he will fly by it. That's a 2v1 the other way, and a huge problem for the Pandas, and a dagger potentially for the demo as they take a 4-2 lead. Yeah, Stovad's looking like he bobbled that one a little bit there, but the important thing was Mage was already coming across for the clear. Got both Pandas to commit on the chance, neither one of them making contact, and it's two green players straight back the other way. 30 seconds left on the clock and the pandas who need this game that's gonna be riz tries to fight a nasty double touch but it's taken aside bouncing it near side taken away by mage he's gonna go up and above one now it's hunter putting it back into his own end there's a big problem for the pandas and it's likely gonna spell defeat in the rest of this contest hunter is gonna try to get this one back downfield but it doesn't matter the demo are gonna cinch a series win out of it and take a 3-1 lead in the series as mage puts one in for good measure his fourth of the ball game it'll be a 5-2 final score yeah the demo again seeing what their divisional rivals have done yesterday the dodgers picking up five they'll want every game out of this one to try and keep that gap towards the uh, the blue and white chasing them down. That, that volcanic division is just razor thin right now in both leagues. And, you know, every every game win counts and every win that you can take off of opponents goes a long way. And, you know, a serious win's important too, Curtis. Head-to-head, -head, the first tiebreaker. But, yeah. again, this trend, look at the shot counts for the demo, 9-3. to three. You said the Dodgers got a 5-0, didn't they? They did. They did. Okay, so then that puts the uh, demo still pretty significantly into third place, but they are closing the gap pretty fast as they came into this week five games back of the Dodgers, and they're looking to try to keep pace with the Dodgers, and they still will definitely at least lose a game off the pace, but uh, they would do well to win four out of five here. Yeah, four out of five will leave them just one game back. Uh, the uh, the Bulls actually their stats in for the week as well, so they're sitting one game ahead of the Dodgers. They're sitting at 22 and 18. So, okay, you know that that volcanic division again looking like it's going to shake out by the end of this week. Five games separating top from bottom in that division, and every team is in it with a shout at this point. Well, here we go. This is a big game for the Pandas as well as the Demo. As we get into it, shot far side placement is on point for Stovads, and it's a one nothing lead. And these kickoffs right now, the Pandas just are unable to put this ball anywhere effectively for themselves. Riz flying across a long way. He's never going to keep control of that ball and just giving it away sets up the shot for the demo. Hunter just can't do anything about it. Nine seconds in and a quick strike from the demolition. This kickoff will be send it, sending it back the other way. Pandas trying to retaliate quickly. Mage with a dribble play has the flick, but that is a nice play by Riz coming across to take that one aside. The bounce in front may set up the demo. It's going to be a bounce off the crossbar in front towards the goal line of Stovads. He's got two goals in 27 seconds. Yeah, a great hold by Stovads there. Puts the Pandas in such a difficult position to defend. Hunter did all he could to keep Mage off that one. The ball just hovering there. Stovads can't miss those. Doesn't. 27 seconds in and already a quick start. Sent into the orange end. Hunter. Off the back. Crossbar. Down. Good touch by Riz. He will send it back into the offensive end. Tries to find the angle and does. And the Pandas rip the series, rip the deficit in half. It's 2-1. Yeah, that was super important here. Riz knew he had the time. Just waited to get the angle correct there. Gets it in that near post. Knows there's no defender back because he's got past both the demolition on the way through. A little bit of BM demo on the way back as well after the goal. <laughs> And that's important. The Pandas really needed that one. 41 seconds in. Already we've seen three goals in game of five. It's been one of the more higher scoring affairs we've seen in this series. Back towards the Pandas end. Good contact from Hunter. Hunter going to try to turn into this, but not before Mage gets there. Mage 
Out to Stovats. Stovats shot on net towards the net. It's in. It's going to be a 3-1 lead. Stovats with a hat trick early. Yeah, a hat trick inside a minute two. There, Riz just never setting himself up to really keep that ball. Mage with the pressure put him in such a bad spot to try and play that one. Ends up having to put it off his wall. Stovats with the rebound, putting that pass and outstretched Hunter. Just shy of four minutes left as we've only played a minute still. <laughs> it's already four goals in on pace for a cool 20 goals between these two teams if this continues. Chance off of the hitbox, but it doesn't really go anywhere. Riz will get the side-to-side -side wall to wall. Reading it is Riz. Good long contact. That'll shave the ceiling and eventually come down. Wrapping it up and around the ceiling. Chance in front for Hunter. Hunter trying to place it. And he's not going to be able to find the far side of the net. And a huge problem for the Pandas, though. That ricochet is going to send it towards the net. And Hunter has to make a defensive play to keep it away. And it remains 3-1. And again, the Pandas right now, a, another example of that. Riz trying to get that ball clear, but it's not a strong clear. Just puts that ball too far in front of him and right into the way for the Demolition to bring that run right back in from midfield here. The Pandas just cannot mount pressure if they keep giving the ball away before it gets out of their half. Back off the back wall. Chance far side and a good save from Hunter who had no boost to work with and still found a way to keep the ball away from the goal line. Demo bounces it in front. That's a long shot towards the green end and that'll be a touch far side and away. Coming in, Pandas trying to tie up this or trying to get this game tied but they still have a little bit of work to do to make that happen. Hunter with the touch looking for one more but a good defensive effort by Mage again is going to shorten that attempt with halftime come and gone in game number five. 3-1 lead. Slow, scoring slowed down a considerable amount. That'll be a chance towards a crossbar and it's Riz again on the bounce puts it home. It's a one goal deficit. Same spot. He put the last shot inside yep. that near post off the wall. The Demolition chasing that one back. There's really no chance to defend that one. Both of them got clustered up underneath the ball. Riz getting that important goal back, but they still just can't really find a lot of consistent momentum. It's these one response goals after giving up another one the other way. Ooh, Pandas trying to kick off goal of their own, but unable to find it is Riz. Hunter there. Mage wins the better of that exchange, and Riz will have to give chase in his own corner. Off the lateral wall. Up and over one. Good touch by Mage. Mage will keep this out of the or into the corner of the Pandas end. Now Hunter with 31 boost and a dream. Going to try to find the play, but Stovads comes across and takes that one away pretty hard. A minute and 44 seconds to go. This will be bounced off of the sidewall. Bounced in front of the net, and it'll be across the face of goal, but sent aside with 90 seconds to go. Good flip. Going to send this towards the corner. Bounces near side and away. Riz is going to fly above it. And with a minute 20 to go in a 3-2 contest, have ourselves a very, very close game five, which is what we were hoping for coming in. Unfortunately, both pandas now have to defend without boost. Hunter oh! just gets enough of that one there. Had 10 boosts left in the tank and was really awkwardly positioned to try and make that save. And this oh! one will stretch past him. Mage puts the dagger through with about a minute to go. And Riz tried, or, sorry, Hunter tried like heck to get to this as he made a save similar to it just in the sequence before, but a really nice shot just above the outstretched nose of Hunter makes it a 4-2 lead. And that is my, uh, <laughs> that is a, that is a big, big goal for the demolition as they come through and look to clinch game five. And again, talked about it, the Pandas just not able to muster consistent pressure and try and get a couple goals in a row. They get these one in response, but they've given up that crucial insurance goal back to the demolition already, and they really need to find two quick goals here. That is a near side play towards the net, and the demo had one more for posterity's sake. 5-2 lead with 34 to go. That one really should be it. Hunter just not getting that ball away. Rolls awkwardly off the octane. Riz tries like heck to get back there. Just not able to get around the ball in time. Rolls over the line. Three goals, 34 seconds. Might just be asking too much out of the Pandas this game. Yep, the effort was there. The results not so much for the Pandas as the execution really, really faltered when they needed it the most. Hunter's going to fly towards this ball. Ends up leaving it for Riz. 
He is not up first, and that'll get taken aside, bouncing it out of the corner. Mage, bounce off the back, in front. Stovads are going to add one more again, and the point differential moving upwards for the demo. Yeah, Hunter just not quite timing the flight back there. You see him go up the backboard. It's already past him, tipped away by Mage. Stovads will finish that one off. 6-2, this one in the books. The demo will keep pace with their divisional rivals all around the board here. They will sit one game back of the Dodgers, two games back of the Bulls in third place, but very crucially, very much in the wild card with a show. Yeah, they are just adding goals for fun at this point just to uh, try to make themselves feel a little bit better and better that goal differential total as the Volcanic Division gets even tighter. Still six weeks left in the regular season for the Champions League, so there's still a ton of time, but this is a big, big series for the demo to make a statement against a Pandas team that just did, could not find it for the majority of it. Yeah, and, you know, looking at that wildcard spot now, the Dodgers sitting in it, but it's a very tenuous grasp. They're only one win ahead of the Rhinos, one win ahead of the Demo, two wins ahead of the Knights <laughs> after this one. Mage scoring another one for fun here as they just keep this one up on zero hero. It It's tight, man. This, this season, the Champion League, the Orange Conference in particular, there's so much competition coming out of these teams right now, and it's it's really anybody's guess who's going to come away with the, uh, the playoff races. Well, the uh, Demolition come through, and they beat the Pandas uh, pretty handily to 4-1 score after all is said and done through the five games. 15 shots, I'm sorry, yes. 13 shots in the final contest of that five game set, but they do really well to, for the majority of the case, keep pace with their division rivals. Pandas licking their wounds. They'll be back next week as they try to get far closer and closer in that wild card race, but this does set them back quite a bit for that. But we are not done here yet this evening. We have the last of the series for you on this primetime Saturday and our five times Sunday and this, uh, this say Saturday, Sunday. Today's Sunday. It's Short Sunday. On Sunday. It's Thank Sunday, Curtis. Easy. Thank you. Okay. Um, with that said, our last matchup of the night belongs to the Platinum Sharks League. Sharks and the Comets. As we Platinum go... League, Sharks and the Comets. Yep. Yeah, Sharks and Comets set to do battle as the Blue Conference takes focus. We'll have that one for you next. And uh, give our friends a shout over at Arctic Cooling, by the way. Arctic.ac for all your PC cooling needs. We'll be right back with series number three on Showdown Sunday. <laughs> 